Harbaugh on that, and um, I have the great pleasure and uh, the trepidation to announce that um, I have filed to serve as a candidate for the Democratic Party uh, for the state representative in the 23rd district. I'd like to thank the uh, New York Senior yeah. Center uh, for just plain existing and all that they do for uh, for all the seniors, including me now, um, <laughs> here in the, the greater New York area. Um, I'd like to thank um, our elected officials who are here. Lisa Diller is uh, the county council, uh, sorry, county, county council person, a Newcastle County uh, person, and also John Kowalko was here. And he's the 25th RD. Uh, he's, he's in that empty seat over there. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and, I, and he's an example of um, good friends, good people in Dover, uh, that our elected officials need to maintain those friendships and be talking to everyone uh, so we can get more done in Dover. I'm going to introduce myself a bit. Um, I am 50 now. I'd like to join in at the seat. Um, and I grew up near Baltimore. Uh, I've been in Newark since 1990. I went to the University of Delaware. Uh, moved here in 1990. We raised our son, Mike. Uh, here in Country Hills on the west side of Newark. And actually, let me, uh, I'm, sorry, I'll give you the background. Started a business in 1996 in, in Newark, and it's been going well, and I've got the mother of one of our employees here. Um, I should say our son, Mike, got married uh, last fall. His wife, Jackie, is here in front also. Um, the, uh, the, the business is a financial planning business, so I get to help people with their retirements, and I get to see the stresses that today's life brings us. And I work with our clients, I uh, put their interests first uh, to get them a little bit more confident about their retirement. Um, as elected official, we have a lot of stresses that our, our residents have, and I think our elected officials can work the same way to put the constituents' interests first and to help their lives get smoother. I want to bring the skills that I've developed in my business to Dover to do that. Um, my sister's here, so I have to, I, you're going to hear, you may hear it anyway. As a kid, I was sort of a whiny kid. I was the youngest in my family. And one of the things that I was most whiny about was when things aren't fair. Um, if you wanted to see me really get upset, it's when I saw something that wasn't fair. And as a kid, there's not much you can do about that. But as you get older and older, you realize you do have opportunities. And this is my prime opportunity to grab that ring on the Ferris wheel, or whatever it is, wearing around and work really hard to make things more fair and more just here in Delaware. Delaware is wonderful, I love it, but I also know that we can make it better, there's areas we can make better. And I'm committed to doing that, making our communities better. For our seniors, for our students, for our families, for the environment, all of these things need help, need championing in Dover, and I'm committed to doing that. Um, in addition to my business, I also give back to the community, serve on the board of the New York Housing Authority, Progressive Dems, Progressive, Progressive Democrats for Delaware, I'm the president of, serve on the board of Equality in Delaware, um, and these are ways that I can take my skills and help important causes on the issue of making things more fair and more just. The, um, uh, in the uh, legislature, when elected, there's a primary on September 11th, and I need everyone's help for that. Um, in Dover, I want to work to make our community stronger. Top three issues I'm hearing when I'm knocking on hundreds of doors uh, is jobs, education, and health care. With education, I was mentioning to Pam, my wife Pam, yesterday, um, one of the big turning points for me was about six months ago when I talked to my son, who's 22, and I said, if you have kids and they, you're living in Newark, would you send them to Newark High, which is where he went? And he didn't hesitate, he said no. That wasn't a good thing for me to hear. And that's something where, again, that gets me charged up. And I'm going to do something about that. Yes, we've got a school district. We have a school district board. They work hard. But our education system is largely driven by our state, the Department of Education. And it's, it's affected by the laws that our legislature passes and the regulations that, we over, that are used to oversee. We need to do better. We need to do better for our kids, our future kids, our grandkids, etc. Um, so education, health care, and jobs, top priorities. Health care with seniors, a big issue is that the transformation we've found is that people are staying healthier longer and especially want to age in place in their current homes. 
And there are things that we can do as a society to make that better. We can bring some health services into the homes. We have repair services, um, low loan, low cost loans for doing repairs for your homes. There's a lot of things, and that is happening. But we need to make sure we stay committed to that and keep making that go further. The New York Housing Authority is another organization that works on getting quality housing for seniors and youngers also. So these are things that are important to me. I, I, I'm hoping they're important to you, and I'm here to help you. Um, uh, bring me into office in Dover so that I can work for you, bring these things forward. Our campaign slogan is moving forward and giving back. Again, Delaware is wonderful, but we can make it more wonderful. And so we're, I'm committed to moving us forward there by giving back, by going to Dover and working for you and for all of Delaware.